Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zaw of the Playbook, bring you a week one NFL matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the St. Louis Rams. Now, here's some things you want to watch out for when these two teams play. Starting with the Cardinals, Derek Anderson has been named the starter in the desert, so he's going to be their leader this year. And they're going with two rookie quarterbacks as their backup. John Skelton will be the number two guy if something were to happen to Anderson. But the Cardinals have to come in and establish that passing game. The passing game struggled throughout the preseason because we know they can run the football with Tim Hightower and Beanie Wells, so they're going to be fine running the football. We know they have talented wideouts in Breston, Fitzgerald, Doucette. They just have to get that passing game in sync with the running game to start the season off on the right foot. Now defensively, you know the Rams struggle in pass protection, so you want to make sure you put pressure on Bradford. This is his first official NFL start, so it's going to be imp it's going to be vital for them to get pressure on those left and right tackles to collapse the pocket and force Bradford to get rid of that football quickly. Roger Kamari looked outstanding in the preseason, so he should be able to lock up whomever the number one target is going to be for the Rams, most likely Keenan Burton. So they're going to force Bradford to spread the ball around to other targets. Now, speaking of the Rams, we know they can run the football with Steven Jackson. We understand that interior offensive line play is good for the Rams, where they lack where their struggle is on their outsides. The two tackles have to improve. You don't want to get your prize possession killed back there in, in Sam Bradford. But we know the Rams, Bradford has looked impressive, so they're going to be fine at quarterback. They just need wide receivers to step up and make big plays. Defensively, they have to get after Derek Anderson, frustrate his day, force them to make the decision to maybe go to a number two guy if need be. But this is going to be the first game of the season for both teams, the first time the starters have played a full game. So the Rams can provide an opportunity to pull out this victory if they come after come, come after Anderson and be more aggressive because we know with Lauren and I said linebacker we know they can come off the end with the with the two defensive ends with Long and company but we know the Rams have a solid defense secondary look better than last year so this is a defense that can cause some problems for the Cardinals it's just up to that offense to make sure they protect their investment in Bradford but with that said I'm still going with the Cardinals in this matchup it's a week one game It's going to be close like I said before Starters have, this is the first full game, so expect to see a lot of mishaps, false starts, turnovers, holding penalties. So it's, it may be a sloppy game, but don't expect the Cardinals just to come in and walk away with this victory. The Rams will compete and may have an opportunity to pull out this game if a wide receiver steps up and force them to empty out their box, force the Cardinals to empty out their box. But I'm still going with the Arizona Cardinals' this matchup. Right now, their passing up is a little bit further along than the Rams. For more week one coverage, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL, or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.